Hello traders and welcome to another video analysis. Today is Friday 20th of the November 2020 and we are going to take a look at the Forex calendar and then we will do some technical analysis. So let's just uh, let's just go straight to the macroeconomic uh, calendar for the Friday, the last day of trading uh, for this week of course and see what is going on there. So we, we got some news already uh, published already like national CPI so this is a consumer price index as you can see the actual reading was minus 0.4 percent forecast was minus 0.3 percent so it's lower than expected and lower than the, the previous reading so it, it there is no infl inflationary pressure on the yen so it will be interesting to take a look at the uh, US dollar uh, to American uh, to American dollar to uh, Japanese yen of course mm, so we will see what is going on uh, there the in the other, as you can see, there was there was, there was plenty of uh, data from the uh, from the Japan, like PMI manufacturing, uh, territory industry uh, index, PMI composite. So it's not really that much important. The other data was uh, retail sales. The retail sales were from Australia, as you can see, and they were better than expected because the uh, the market participants expected open 3%. Their retail sales were at the level of 1.3, which was better than the previous reading of minus 1.1. So it looks like a few cases of a pandemic in Australia um, uh, had a had made the, the, the people to spend more in the in shops finally and uh, as you can see credit card spending is rising as well very nicely so uh, that was the data from the Australia so I think we will uh, continue with some um, uh, Australian dollar analysis as well retail sales uh, with auto fuel and uh, uh, um, without the auto fuel as you can see uh, the, this data were published at 9 o'clock from, uh, uh, from the, the UK and the they are better than expected but worse than in than in the previous month uh, so far and of course we are uh, heading towards the uh, the end of the uh, data the, the data period we got only ppi from from germany and then um 10 we got uh, another speech from christine lagarde uh, just like uh, in the last three days she had been speaking every day so maybe there will be some kind of a um, impact on the uh, on the financial markets at least it should be and there is of course um, uh, Jen, uh, jens uh, Wiedermann uh, speaks speech as well at three o'clock and the last data of the week will be from uh, Canada. The Canada will publish the retail sales. As you can see, uh, the market expects a slight decrease um, uh, in uh, the month of the October because the data from September was 0.4% and the data from October will be uh, are expected to be on the level of 0.2. And then we got some uh, new housing price index and corporate profits. And then, of course, we got a speech, uh, half past three, speech from the FOMC mem member uh, Robert Kaplan. And then consumer confidence and uh, Baker Hughes uh, US recount. So this is uh, important data for all of the crude oil traders. So I think we should uh, t take a look. There's not much uh, uh, high impact data today. I think we should definitely take a look on the uh, um, uh, American dollar to Japanese yen and then I think we should uh, take a look on the euro to, to British pound. So let's just let's just start with the euro to the British pound. Uh, I think I've done this analysis before. There you go. I've done it. So we are ready to take a look on this. What is going on? Well, the price is still under this uh, trend line here right so this is important uh, last time we got the support the support has been has been uh, violated as you can you can see we have touched the the level of 8865 pips but this was made on the pin bar so then we got a bounce the bounce however uh, went a little bit above 8988 and uh, the the high was made at 9003 pips so it was like a five pips uh, miss of the uh, uh, technical resistance but now it will act as a technical resistance for sure this is 9003 pips this is technical resistance last week and this week and uh, this week uh, especially was uh, like a down week 
for the for the euro because it's going it, the price is going lower and as, as you can see at the end of the week you know, we are uh, consolidating uh, below the level of 8946 but still above the level of 8915 so we are in a slight consolidation but as you can see the momentum is is down is negative and weak so we should um, expect further uh, deterioration of the of the euro it should go lower towards 8865 again because as long as it trades below this 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 trend line the outlook remains bearish right they have to break above the trend line which will be apparently uh, as i if you take a look here it will be above nine um 9003 pips as well so this is the key level there you go this is the this is the uh blue arrow pointing the 9003 pips so this will be the first indication that the bulls are in charge uh, and then uh 9068 this is the game changing level if this level is violated then of course we got we got um another uh, another change in a in a sentiment from bearish to bullish so let me just put this as a as a technical resistance so this is how it looks like for now not much volatility we are waiting for the market to break out uh, either above the trend line or go lower below 8865 the key taking a support so let's take a look at the uh, american dollar to the japanese yen i think we got some analysis here there you go we got some analysis here this channel has been uh, invalidated we got some pin bar here but this is a very very nice candle as you can see this is the bullish uh, bullish engulfing pattern and this is daily candle that has uh, engulfed one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen almost fifteen days right so this is very very bullish a candle as you can see it was released of course on the news why because it has been almost <laughs> almost uh, uh, almost all this move has been retraced right so we have stopped just around this level of uh, I think it, it should be somewhere here 105.65 that was the technical uh, technical resistance we just stopped there and now we are just detailed um, deteriorating uh, lower we are just moving uh, below the uh, 104 yeah there you go 104 and now the current the current price is 103.84 so right now we just keep moving lower as we were during the whole the whole um, November and September and October so we got the local uh bounce and then sell off local bounce and then sell off but please notice that let me just move a little bit higher please notice that this is a lower low this is lower low this is lower low this is lower high lower high lower high lower high lower high lower high definition of a downtrend so there is bearish pressure on the uh american dollar and uh, there is of course uh, the downtrend on the US the, uh, American dollar to the Japanese yen pair. So there is not much has changed uh, since the since summer, I think. And as long as we will not make any new high, so we will have a higher high in this sequence. And this would be 105.65 or 106.13. That long, uh, we will we will we will keep making lower lows and we will keep continue the downtrend so please notice that there is still no even after this big big massive massive even candle that covers almost 15 days in one go we are still under the bearish pressure so this is not a good outlook for the uh, uh for the bulls for the this for for today of course uh and for the next week and i think it's gonna it's gonna uh uh, this market will trade like this uh, until the end of this month or even longer so please keep this this in mind so uh, i think that's enough uh, for today uh, there is not much data uh, to be released anyway but please keep an eye on all of the market developings in the last um, uh, last day of uh, 
uh, of this week last trading day of this week so you don't miss anything at all from the financial market so thank you very much for watching and i hope i will see you guys with uh, uh with monday with a new uh, new trading analysis video have a nice weekend and take care bye bye